guys, I'm back today with a perfume review. This is a perfume from the house of Byredo that I have talked about before. It is actually kind of from Sweden, but actually not made here or anything. And I do love a lot of their perfumes. Some of my favorite all time perfumes come from that house. And I have two more that I'm going to review in, in a little while that I actually have full size bottles of. This is just from a sample that I've gotten. And this is probably the most controversial of the Byredo scents. Some of them are very, you know, very mainstream, very simple, very sweet. Those tend to be the ones I do not like. And some of them are more niche perfumes. And this one is the most, most niche of all. <laughs> this one is a very, very special scent. I always used to call it mink, uh, like the animal. Uh, but uh, apparently when I went into the store he said no it's MM ink so apparently I've been saying it wrong so anyways uh, it's something that I would almost call I would say it's like a smell not a perfume if if you know what I mean by that it's not like a composition of something that's gonna make you smell sweet and flowery and things like that it's more like a straightforward smell. It's called MM ink because it's supposed to smell like ink but basically when I put it on I get this very strong animal barnyard just ugh, this really really strong scent and I I think that scent just basically divides people into two because some people think that, think that this smells disgusting. Why would you put uh, scent on that smells like a wet uh, horse or something and some people love it. I'm somewhere in the middle. I think I like it in the combination with other perfumes but I do think that this one that is just straightforward, straight in your face, only this animalistic scent is too much for me but it's very very interesting. And then after a while it kind of it kind of calms down and I can actually smell more of the ink scent that they're talking about. I used to use um, and draw and things like that a lot with pure ink so I know what ink smells like and it smells of ink but also of a couple of other uh, scents so I would say ink towards the more animal <laughs> side of things so it's a very very nice scent and and it goes down to something that is almost almost nutty I would say that smells a little bit like nuts or something like that so it mellows out very very nicely and it, the nice thing is that it stays this way for many hours so I would say the first blast is maybe like half an hour and I don't find that first face very enjoyable uh, I don't find it disgusting as I think many people would do, uh, but I don't find it that pleasant. So, but the, the following hours I do actually like. This would be great on a man or a woman. I think that just depends on your taste. And it lasts me, well, you could say it lasts all day, but not in a strong way, then I would have to reapply. I would say that it's a very, very strong perfume, so you don't need a lot, but it doesn't project a lot so I would say it's like medium projection but it, the um, condensation <laughs> is that the word the concentration yeah there I got it uh, of the perfume is quite uh, intense so I, I would say that is one of the problems I see with this because this would be a cool perfume to own but their bottles are basically 100 ml and this is a very very special scent first of all and I would like use one spritz so I can never use th that bottle up I think that when I get these samples I think they're about 5 ml 3 ml something like that and actually one of those just lasts me for a long time so if I could buy like 10 mil or something I would really like to own this because it's so special and I think if you want a really odd uh, signature scent and especially if you're a man and you want to smell all musky and you know really manly in that way I think this could be a good one but this is something that you definitely should never blind buy 
because this is going to divide people into directions. So oh, this I would say always smell this first. And I can't really make my mind up. As I said, if I had it in my collection, I would be very happy. But would I spend the money and get such a large bottle that I don't think that I would ever use up? I don't think I would. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I land somewhere in between. But if you get a chance to try it, I think you definitely should. I love these kinds of perfumes that I describe not as perfumes, not as scents, but actually as a pure smell. Like when you go outside and you smell grass or you smell something else, you don't say this is a scent or perfume. It's just a straightforward scent, uh, smell. <laughs> and that's what I kind of love about this. So it's this is going to be a longer review than I usually do, but it's just because I think this is so interesting. And uh, I hope you are all well, guys. I'm thinking of, of you all and I hope that I can, can be of some interest if you're just lying in bed and having a horrible day. Love you all, guys. Bye.